What's up, squids? Welcome back to the channel. I am AKA Bull Moto and I make dumb home movies around motorcycles. I just received an email from Harley Davidson Pocono Mountain letting me know that they have the 2023 models in stock. So I'm headed up here to check it out right now. If you think that's something to be into, stick around and I'll hit you back up once I reach there. Okay guys, we have made it close to the Harley Davidson, so we're about to head out and check these bikes out. Okay guys, we have made it over here to Harley Davidson of Pocono, which is located in Townsville, PA, just off Interstate I-80. Pocono HD, America's Road Group, were built on the foundation of brand loyalty, exceptional product selection, elevating the customer experience, and embracing the Harley Davidson lifestyle, all while running an established dealership and retail location. This dealership not only carry new and used Harleys but other trading brands. From apparel like jackets, patch, AC printed t-shirts to memorabilia. Okay guys, enough of my rambling. Let's take a look at this bike. Okay guys, let's start engine. This bike comes with the Milwaukee 8117. This engine comes with 8 valves and 2 cylinders in the traditional V-twin configuration. And it's air cooled, oil cooled and comes in at 1920cc. And it's also belt driven with a 6 speed gearbox. Okay, let's move on to the wheels. This bike carries a 19 inch bronze wheel in the front with a 130 by 60 tire and an 18 inch wheel in the rear with a 180 by 55 tire. Moving on to the brakes, this model carries dual floating 32 millimeter disc with a four piston fixed caliper in the front. And in the rear, a single 32 millimeter disc with a four piston caliper. For the front fork, this bike carries 44mm dual bending valves and in the rear, what Harley refers to as their premium standard height hand adjustable rear suspension. Guys, you'll be happy to know that these rear shocks are adjustable, but you have to remove the saddlebags. Okay guys, this bike is very approachable for shorter riders with a seat height of 26.7 inches. You can use me as a reference. I am 5'10 with a 32 inch in seam and you can see how I look standing next to this bike. It's pretty comfortable. Guys, this bike has some weight to it and that is to be expected. This bike comes in at 814 pounds. Guys, you'll be happy to know that this bike has a fuel capacity of 6 gallons and a fuel economy of 41 miles per gallon. A stock ground clearance. The ground clearance on this bike is 5.3 inches. 
Looking at the rake, the rake on this bike is 36 degrees. And not forget the trail, the trail on this bike is 6.7 inches. Guys, we're gonna go over this dash, but we're gonna keep it brief and we're gonna only go over the bases. There's way too much going on here and this is well over my pay grade. We're gonna start with the controls on the left side handlebar. First you can see here is the traction control. And under the traction control, and under the traction control you can see the horn. Up to the top you can see the high beams. Under the high beams is the pass button. When you make our way down and to the left, you can see the left side indicator. Voice recognition button. The home button. To the right of the home button is the cruise control button. Okay guys, making our way over to the fairing, you can see a left side speaker. To the right of the speaker is a fuel gauge. Okay guys, making our way down to the handlebars, you can see the speedometer. And to the right of the speedometer is the tachometer. Up from the tachometer is the infotainment system. And to the right of the display is the oil temperature gauge. Under the speedometer and tachometer is the ignition and fork lock switch. As you can see here guys, under the handlebar is the right side speaker. Okay guys, making our way with the switches on the right handle. The first switch on the left you'll see is the hazard lights. To the right of the hazard lights is the traditional ignition on and off switch. And under the hazard light is the engine start switch. Under the start switch and to your left you can see a back button and to the right of the back button is a right side indicator and under the right side indicator is a select switch. Guys this is your information and GPS display but there's too much going on in here for me to put in this video it'll make the video too long so what I will do I'll put a link in the bottom of the description to the user's manual. Guys, once again, I'm sorry to disappoint you, but this bike comes with a mixture of halogen and LEDs. The headlight and taillights are LEDs, but everything else is halogen. Okay boys, time to talk color. This 2023 Sleek Guy comes in two flavors. Your standard vivid black. and a white sand pearl. Okay guys, time to look at the price of this bike. These two flavors carry different prices. The standard Vivid Black comes in at $29,999 and the white sand pearl comes in at an extra $750 bringing the total to $30,749 before tax and other fees. Now there is a freight fee of $850 and if you live in California there's an extra California emission fee of $200 and a surcharge of $1000. Guys remember there is a dock fee and a prep fee along with other fees that are not shown on the website. Okay guys if you made it this far into the video I appreciate you. I'll also do other walk around videos of the new bike that are coming out on the 18th. I want to give the management and staff at Pocono HD a special thanks for assisting me in filming this bike. I appreciate that. I appreciate you. I appreciate them. I appreciate everybody. And peace. <laughs> Alright guys. Remember to keep your eyes on the swivel. Keep the sticky side down. The shiny side up. And guys. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.